Good morning everybody. Uh, today is Friday the 29th of June and I'm actually going out for a game of golf uh, today about half past 11. Sharon's been doing a bit of work. Let me show you what Sharon's been doing. She's been doing just printed a few t-shirts off as you can see there. There's one she's done there. Don't know where that's going to. Uh, there's another one there. See that, the old uh, rally choppy, remember them in the 70s? I had one of them, in fact I had one the same colour as that. And there's another one there she's done. Lovely bike, I don't know if you can see that. You can see the actual quality of them transfers there, what we put on. And again, if you uh, are, are interested in doing printing as, as a, a, either a hobby or even to bring in some sort of additional income, we can show you how to actually do these. Them colours, you see, a lot of people like black t-shirts for example and as you can see the actual quality of these transfers is actually lovely it's all about knowing what papers to use what inks to use and the best techniques for the lowest cost so that's what you can actually produce that sort of thing and these don't fade in look at me these don't fade let's show you the other one there what she's done again rally chopper look at that look people love these look absolutely lovely Sharon's just finished them She's got to wrap them up and send them off. Let me put them back over there. Oh, we have called. There's another one she's done. Sorry, I forgot about that one. And there's one of the white T-shirts which she's done. Look, again, that's a different transfer on there, believe it or not. But it's still done using the same inks. But the transfer is a total different transfer. You can't use the same transfers for white and black paper. You have to use a different transfer of paper. Get the wrong one. A lot of people go on eBay and they buy the cheapest papers, transfer papers that they, they can and what happens is is that after a few washes they crack we've got these which we've had for about four or five years with the same transfer paper and they still hold the vivid colours which you can see there and they don't crack so it's all about knowing which materials to use let's put that back over there now what did I want to talk to you about um, I've done a bit of auction reaping as you know I don't know if you've seen on um, one of my other videos about a lawnmower which is uh, I've just sold I bought that at auction for £40 and I've sold that for £245 um, I've done loads of that sort of, them sort of deals and auction reaping is going very well we do like auction reaping and it's something I enjoy doing I enjoy going to auctions now we go to about three or four over the period of a week we, we attend them for the viewings basically and then we, we can actually, on three of the auctions anyway, we can actually bid online. So once we've been and done our research and that then it's just a matter of sitting in front of the PC here for example when the actual auction is being run and doing your bidding online. So that's what we do as well. As well as actually turning up at an auction. Funny thing, now see me, tell me what you think. Now, like you, I've got cards, bank cards, credit cards, blah blah blah, whatever. Now, I had one of those plastic wallets, what they give you in the bank, that holds about three or four or five different cards. And over the period, I don't know, of a couple of years, for example, it splits and it get, and anyway, because I've tucked money inside it as well, basically. I, I, I would have shown you, Sharon's laughing at me as she's standing over it. It split, and I just said to Sharon, oh, can we go in the bank and see if they got any of these? So she's done that, and they come out, no, you don't do it anymore. Anyway, so I've gone online on eBay. And I'm looking for a credit card holder. Anyway, I've seen one, absolutely fantastic. You coming over here, Taylor? Come say hello, come. Come and say hello, come round here. Come round here, come hello. Stand there tittering. Now, as I said, I've bought this. Bend down, you've got to bend down. Look. Bend down. Now, I bought this, right, and I bought it because it looks fantastic. I thought because it's leather and it can hold 14, 15 cards and there is what I call an accessory pouch and it's this here purse. now it's, she's called it a purse right now I don't think it is a purse or I didn't think it was I'm going to let's t let you know what happened come and sit down a bit lower shall you you're not in a frame come on. get on your knees again so I bought this and I, I showed this to Sharon and my daughter yesterday and they basically laughed their head off and ridiculed me because they said it was a purse. Now, it's a credit card holder with an accessory pouch. That is what I say. Now, let me just show you it. 
Now, look, it's a lovely leather, nice finish. I know it's quite thick, nice but finish. that's it's, <laughs> you open it. Look at this. Look, look. Watch. Now that's impressive, isn't it? Look. See that? But when you open the other side, it's got two zips on it. Look. You open the other side. There. You got a, what I call an accessory pouch. Purse. Now she said that that makes it a purse. Now, I've been thinking about it, and I thought about it all yesterday, and I phoned up my, da my daughter last night, and of course they were mocking, and she said it's got a picture there, look, for me. anything. That's like, and I've got visions of me walking up somewhere and holding it like that, and say, oh, how much do you want? Oh, no, I'm opening it on that, and I can see what they're saying. When you do that, it does look like a purse. So anyway, so I went back on eBay, where I bought it from, and lo and behold, when I read the full ad, it said leather, credit card, wallet, blah, 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 purse. It is a purse. That is now going to Sharon, my daughter, or anyone who wants it. But that is a purse, and I do not carry around a purse. It's not an accessory pouch, which I was trying to convince them and myself of. It is a purse. So anyway, I've got a lovely little one coming now. It is a, what's this, aluminium, <laughs> brushed aluminium clad. I'll show you when I get it. And that can hold about 14 to 15 cards. See, I need something. Now that is too thick. Now the one that I got rid of is literally half the size of that without the accessory pouch, or the purse bit if you want to call it that. But... It's, look at the thickness of that, I can't put that in my pocket, that'll stick out like a sore thumb. So, I can't get the little plastic ones, which I thought I could get before. I don't know. So, oh, you go, you go. Yeah, I've had enough. She's had enough, she's had enough. Right, I'll see you later. Yeah. It's not a purse though, Sharon. It's a purse. Don't forget to wrap them t-shirts up, by the way. I'm on golfing shortly, you know that, Angel. So, anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, all right, two fingers. She's give me a two finger salute then, ladies Let and gentlemen. Wood. So I'll show you the new aluminium one, which is not a purse, basically. So anyway, that was that. But if you think that's a purse, you're right, because it is a purse. I didn't look at the ad properly, and it is a leather purse, basically, so that's got to go. Anyway, what else have I been doing? Um, we had a terrible flash flood here yesterday. I suppose that you all must have had one if you're in the UK, in and around where I am. We had tornadoes up here. We had about six inches of water, uh, water rather, in half an hour. Uh, unbelievable. The pond filled up in no time. So that was what's been going on here. I've been buying stuff at auction. I bought a job lot of 49 Haynes manuals, the old car repair manuals. So they're now on eBay. That's the only trouble with buying things like that. They're low priced items, but it takes time to list them. It took me about two hours to list 49 manuals, which is a bit of a pain in the, in the posterior. But this is, let me show you something else I bought as well. And I'll tell you why I bought it. All right, bear with me. Let's turn that round now. All right, let's just go in here. Now, I've got this. Look at this, look. This item here, I see this at auction. I didn't know anything about it. But, obviously, as you can see, them drum pads there look very, very worn, very worn. That one at the bottom is not worn. It's like it's brand new, actually, in the foot pedal. And the symbols look okay. But I looked at it, and I thought, well, no one's going to buy that. But then, as I said to you, do your proper checks, and then there was this thing attached to it. Now this thing, this controller, is a lot of money's worth of kit. I don't know anything about it, but I wasn't too bothered about the drum kit. I looked at the price of this, and this commands a few hundred pounds. So, I've done a video on YouTube for the advert, and I've actually, I'm concentrating basically on this in, in the video. And I've, I've mentioned all the pads need, like, possibly the fronts changing, stuff like that. But this actually is worth far, far more than this. And I've actually had people phone me from abroad as well, asking me if, if they didn't mind shipping the whole lot abroad, basically. And don't bother sending the frame and all that, because, you know, they're only really interested in the control gear, basically. So I've had people offer me money. I've had a, a £100. Off. I paid £70 for this lot, by the way. But I knew this commanded on its own a few hundred pounds, so... I've had an offer, offer of £100 at the moment for, for everything, so the auction's still got a day to go, but there's 25 watches on this lot. So 
I'm not too worried about that. That's going to make a profit. So, yeah, I mean, as I say, things that you don't know. I don't know about these sort of things. I haven't got a clue. But I do know how to do my checks using the auction reaping method. And they produced that this would possibly be worth quite a bit of money. And I took a punt on it. I took the bidding up to £70. Now, normally, I wouldn't pay £70 for something like this. I don't know anything about it. But that's auction reaping if you do it the right way. Okay, then well, let's just put that back on. Oh, let's put that back on there for the moment. On the old tripod. So yeah, there you go. That's what I've been up to. Been doing a bit of auction reaping. Uh, been answering questions in my membership club, as you know, on, on my website. Do have a look in it. It's only still only twenty five pounds. I said I know I was going to put it up in that, but I still haven't done it. I just haven't had the time. I've been doing so many, so many other things. So. £25 and it's not only all the tutorial videos you get there, if you do participate in the forum you can actually watch inside information of the tips and tricks what I, well, the people who are in the forum, there's not many people in the forum but the ones who do use it are taking full advantage of the forum because they're getting a full one to one with me as and when they pose, pose their questions and they're also seeing what other people are doing in the forum so do take a look at the forum and for £25 a year you, you'll be a fool really not to take it up. Forget about all these classes. I've, I keep getting emails through from internet marketers saying, come up for these London workshops and stuff like that. All it is is a load of people want to watch and learn from someone else and sitting in a massive classroom of people, it doesn't mean a thing. You're not going to learn anything there. It's all stuff you know. If you, All it is is knowing how to find stuff, knowing how to sell stuff, knowing how to get it online and present it in the right manner via either a Words, WordPress website or build a normal website or also uh, from uh, selling on eBay. It's just a matter of knowing how to present yourself. The tools to do that are simple and if you can't do the work yourself, there's ways to get it outsourced and you can find all that out in my annual membership fee of £25. You cannot beat that value. You've got the auction reaping DVDs which are installed in the membership area, so that you, have, you save yourself 21 or 24 pounds, whatever the auction reaping DVD cost is. You also get um, um, the Affiliate Empire Builder DVD set in there, uh, that's in there as well. And another thing I've told, I, I don't know whether I've said to you, I've actually I created a product in 2009 or 2010, I can't remember what it was now. I think it was 2009, GuruBot Pro. Well, I've actually just sold that product now onto someone. Someone uh, in America has bought it and is going to develop it a bit further because I've just left it static for the last couple of years and I've you was giving it away for free for people to base for me to build an email list basically. So, but it's an email list which I've only used a couple of times to be honest with you. It's it's, it's a growing list all the time and I still get people still downloading the or up till two days ago Googlebot Pro and asking me for uh, installation possible uh, help and all that which I don't actually provide anymore but I do send emails to these people uh, helping them if I can but I'm not a te techie person I don't know the ins and outs of what's gone on but anyway that's been sold now Googlebot Pro you'll probably see the website if you typed in googlebotpro.com isn't there anymore at the time of this video uh, the woman's going to be relaunching it uh, and it's going to be updated as well so it should be a, a lot better product because over the last few years I think PayPal and one shopping cart have changed their systems a little bit and there might have been a few hiccups with Google Watt Pro so apart from that I mean I, I, I was using it, I haven't used use it no more because I don't use Kanaki for my shipping because most of my customers are in the UK and there is a big uh, delay time for people shipping items from the USA over to the UK if I'm in the UK it looks quite strange for me selling stuff in the UK to UK customers using the USA shipping company so to speak so Anyway, but that's it for now. Enjoy. I'm going out for a game of golf. I'll see you shortly. Cheers. Bye.